Good afternoon, everybody. I'll call the recommending committee meeting to order March 3rd, 2009. Are we in compliance with the open meeting law? We are. Okay, with that being said, I would like to move into our first order of business, and that is bill number 2009-6, update various administrative provisions pertaining to the Las Vegas Metropolitan Police Citizen Review Board, sponsored by Councilman Gary Reese. Uh, this line item is open at this point. Staff or uh, yes, you I want will to uh, make a presentation make on a this presentation. ordinance. Thank you. As you know, the uh, Citizen Review Board is a creature of statute that allows the Metropolitan Police Department to create a board for hearing complaints about uh, police action uh, because uh, Metropolitan Police Department is. Uh, serves both the city and incor unincorporated county. Uh, parallel county and city ordinances have to be adopted to implement the board. And uh, under the existing city and county ordinances, the board has operated successfully for a number of years. The director of the board has uh, requested both the city and the county to make parallel changes uh, by means of their ordinances. And so I believe the county is proceeding or already has proceeded, and this is our version of it. Uh, much of it is uh, reorganization and uh, uh, a little bit of cleanup. I will highlight uh, a number of the significant changes. First of all, the uh, currently the director of the Citizen Review Board serves at the pleasure of the county manager and the city manager with the advice and consent of the Board of County Commissioners and the council. And this proposal takes out of that equation the Board of County Commissioners and the city council leaving the tenure of an existing director up to the agreement of the county manager the city manager. <coughs> the second thing it does is it requires a mandatory review, uh, removal of appointees to the board if they have three unexcused absences during a calendar year um, or if they violate the confidentiality provisions of, of this ordinance. Certain and state law, certain things are confidential, as you might imagine, when the uh, Citizen Review Board is considering complaints. So anybody on the board who violates that is subject to automatic removal. Third thing is that it gives the uh, director the authority to dismiss or reject complaints if the board has no jurisdiction. And uh, the ordinances define when uh, the board has jurisdictions over what kinds of matters and what kinds of matters it doesn't have jurisdiction over. It also allows a screening panel who initially reviews complaints to uh, encourage resolution by means of a non-binding mediation process, which isn't set forth in ordinance now, and that's one option that can be pursued by a screening panel. If, and if uh, either the complainant or the officer don't want to go through the mediation process, then they don't have to. Um, it also, uh, there's a current 15-day requirement during which a screening pa panel has to make recommendations to the department after uh, com investigation into a citizen complaint. And this would extend that 15 days to 30 days. And then finally, this would authorize <coughs> the, uh, currently the chair of the board is the only one who has the authority to uh, issue subpoenas to compel attendance of witnesses. And this, um, these changes in both the city and county ordinance would authorize the chair to authorize the executive director to issue those subpoenas on the chair's behalf. Um, we've identified a couple of uh, typographical errors. There's a missing word A on page 6 and uh, a duplication of the word on page 7. So if you're inclined to recommend approval of this, we would uh, do those corrections as part of the First Amendment. Thank you for that. Is there anyone here from the public wishing to speak? If so, please come forward and state your name for the record. Can, can you tell me about the uh, the director thing you first mentioned? What happens there where the council and the commission is taken out of it? Right, right now, the uh, ordinance says the term of the director's service, meaning once the director is appointed, okay. the term of the service is up to is at the pleasure of the county manager and the city manager with the advice advice and consent of the county commissioners and the council. So, if the direct if the two managers decide that they want to remove the executive director. 
right now they need the approval of the oh, this county is commissioners. Removal. Yes. Okay. Right. County commissioner and county city council to do that, and this this reserves that power to the to the county manager, the city manager, which could become a very political situation. I guess that's what they want. I assume that's that's the basis for it. Anyone from the public? Hearing none. Councilman Steinman. I'll make a motion uh, to uh, refer this action to the council with the recommendation to pass and uh, with the two changes. Okay. Noted by Very good. Thank you. Okay. And hearing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Hearing none. Board item approved. And we'll move forward to uh, the City Council, when, when will it come before the City Council? Uh, it will be coming before the City Council on March 18th. Okay, this item will come before the City Council on March 18th uh, to be heard by the uh, full City Council. Item number four, bill number 2009-7 amends the downtown centennial plan to update and revise certain trail alignments within the downtown area, sponsored by Mayor Oscar B. Goodman. Staff? Thank you, Marco Wheeler, Planning and Development. This item is the same changes that came to you on the general plan amendment at your last meeting. This is the ordinance to implement those changes. It is not additional changes. It's merely putting it in, in the correct form, in the additional form, as per the previous action that you took. Thank you for that. Is there anyone here from the public wishing to speak on this item? Hearing none. Make the Councilman Steinman. Make a motion to uh, refer to council with pass action. Hearing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? This item will come before the City Council on March 18th. Item number, or I should say bill number 2009-8 repeals ordin ordinance number 5830 relating to the adoption of an amendment and restated redevelopment plan proposed by Bradford R. Jerbic, City Attorney. Seth? Uh, yes, this bill is on the uh, is on your agenda by reason of uh, the uh, referendum petition that was filed with the city. Uh, Mr. Jerbic, I talked to Mr. Jerbic about this item. He intends at the City Council meeting tomorrow, which is when this bill is eligible for adoption. Mm -hmm. uh, he intends to make a presentation. Uh, you're free to to listen to any comment today that you'd like to. My recommendation at the end of any comment that you listen to would, that you be, would be that you forward it to the council without a recommendation and let them uh, take action on it tomorrow. Okay. Hearing that, is there anyone here from the public wishing to be heard on this item? Councilman Steinman? I'll make a, a motion to refer to council with no recommendation of the recommending committee. Hearing that, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Item passes. We're now down to citizen participation. Public comment during this portion of the agenda must be limited to matters within the jurisdiction of the committee. No subject may be acted upon by the committee unless the subject is on the agenda and is scheduled for action. If you wish to be heard, come to the, well, not podium, but come to the table and give your name for the record, the amount of discussion on any single subject, as well as the amount of time any single speaker is allowed may be limited. At this time, if there's anyone here from the public that is uh, willing or wishing to speak, please come forward at this time. Hearing none or seeing any, uh, I'll move to close the recommending. Concur. Concur. 